Welcome friends, my name is Brandon, also known as the Lethargic Sloth, and it's time to cover Iceland at Eurovision 2024. So we have welcoming back Hera Bjork coming back. She was, represented Iceland at Eurovision 2010 with the song Je ne sais quoi, pardon my French. Um, so this is her second trip back to Eurovision, and it comes 14 years later, so... Let's take a look at Scared of Heights and see what Euro Eurovision Iceland brings to us this year. I don't know why I was going to say Eurovision brings us. We shall see. Life story coming. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Diving with my heart burst Still drowning in this Russian fear Wish that I could unlearn I can enjoy the view from up here <laughs> Baby, we should leave this Cause what would be the use Fear should never stop you <laughs> Might be advice to somebody that I know that I'm giving right now Heart shaped bruise. I like this a lot, dig. Really nice lyrics. Little churchy, little choiry <laughs> sounding, anyways. This is classic Eurovision. If you're a fan of Eurovision, you should at least appreciate this song. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> Great. Still falling if I kiss you goodbye. Well, big round of applause for clever, sincere, and just wonderful lyrics. Holy crap. I, I really like that. That's It's well written. It's a nice song. Uh, vocally, she's very good. And uh, um, it's... It's not too much, and it's not like too syrupy sweet. It's kind of right there in the middle. Um, this is this song, big time, reflects my life, and and uh, uh, <laughs> either being the one or being with somebody who's afraid and constantly pushes you away because of their fears, because they're afraid of falling in love and afraid to come down, as she said falling in love. I, I love all the imagery associated with this song. Heart-shaped bruise, uh, very clever lyrics, and it's just a nice song. I'm a little afraid that it will get overlooked, and 
I hate when people say this, but they'll be like, oh, dated, 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 you know, just meaning that, oh, we're going to discard it and it's not going to qualify. There's a lot of zany acts and uh, craziness and people trying to get attention at Eurovision. Peacocking, so to speak. This is not it. You know, maybe she's got the sparkly dress, so maybe that's a little bit of peacocking. But this song is real, genuine, sincere, and, and it... Uh, <laughs> Who, it's the opposite of what I said about Ali Alexander. They sent in a singer, based on the name, wrote a mediocre song, didn't give him a chance to shine, and then sent it out like, oh, he's, a, he's an established name. This song, they built a song. They actually constructed something beautiful, captivating, and well-worded, well-spoken, and put it out there. And uh, I appreciate it, but I just, in my experiences of watching Eurovision, songs like this generally don't qualify. And I'm scared that it won't, but it could. It could. There are enough classic Eurovision. This is classic Eurovision. This is, if you are a fan of Eurovision, like I said, now that the music's off, I can say that this is the type of song that you might not love the most or might not stick out, but you appreciate and you want these types of songs because we are moving away from the just good songwriting just for, for circus again. That's kind of the pendulum. The pendulum swings back and forth between artistic theater production and songs, songwriting, what the contest is actually about. Right now we're kind of going towards, we're seeing that zany and crazy and staging. I swear, some of the acts are like 10% song, 90% staging now. And it's disappointing because I love these types of stuff. This is why I watch Eurovision. So don't be surprised if this doesn't actually make my top 10. It might. I have a lot of songs to listen to, but I, yeah, I love this Iceland. Um, for me, probably about an 8 out of 10 if I'm ranking it. It's... Lyrically, it's incredible. Maybe it also is a little bit monotone where it doesn't really hit the, the highest point, but it's got enough movement to where I think it keeps you interested and entertaining. I'm excited to watch this at Eurovision, and I really, really enjoy the lyrics and composition of the song. The music's nice, too. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it hit home, especially uh, spending a lot of time... Uh, I don't want to say too much, but you know, when somebody's afraid to fall in love or keeps pulling back and you go forward, they go back and it's like a, a, a bad dance where you're like stepping on each other's feet and stuff because you don't know. And yeah, that's, <laughs> I've been there. I've been there and uh, uh, getting your heart smashed is never fun. It's never good. Afraid of rejection, uh, afraid of everything. <laughs> Afraid of falling in love and then it's like what then you know it's great to fall in love but what's the next thing you know like can I have a stable relationship there's all these fears and um, yeah I definitely uh, know somebody that's that this song reminds me of <laughs> I'll just say that much I won't uh, I won't go too too much further into that but I like it I like it a lot Iceland I really do um, Tara Bjork two thumbs up Iceland great job I just hope this song gets appreciated and gets uh, a good placing. Do I think it'll qualify? Probably not. Um, but if it does, then all my cynicism is proven wrong, and I'll be happy because I like the song. Guaranteed, this will probably be in my want to qualify list. So just uh, watch for that. I will post that Monday, I'm sure. Okay, for now, Lethargic Sloth, out.